Today we were uh, driving home from this wedding, and Phil was driving. My dad was driving, mm-hmm. and there was he had to go straight at this intersection. Uh, the right lane had to turn right only, and there was a car in front. And like he started oh. to get in the right lane, and then he saw that it was right only, so he was like, "Oh, oh!" And like switched lanes. Like I've never seen he, my dad. He, do did, it. he didn't want to put like a dickhead move and go straight yeah. from a turning lane. Yeah. So oh, instead, so he like panicked. And just kept driving. Well, it's probably everything he's ever hated for yeah. years. And dude. there was a car that he had to slam on the brakes, and like the traction control, like took over. Like we anti lock brakes took over, and I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> he probably was as he was doing. He was probably flashing, like seeing him. <laughs> he probably saw a Puerto Rican dude in the mirror. And was like, "No!" <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and then he made this like crazy. I've never <sighs> seen my dad do it. He made like a weird nervous. Like, when I looked at him, because I was sitting shocked, and I was like, what the fuck was that? And he was like, <laughs> oh, my was, God. I've never seen anything like it. He slipped, dude. I was like, are you all right? And he was like, ah, I'm all right. But it was the first, I think it was like the first real sign of old age I've seen him. Did you? Yeah, it was kind of yeah, sad. Man, I was like, that's... you want me to drive? Yeah. Like, yeah, sure, Shane. Dude, that fucking, that's, yeah. That's uh, it sucks, too, when you're like, especially if you don't see your dad for a while, and you come back, and you see, like, a lot of age in your face, you're like, oh, fuck, you're becoming, like, old as hell now? You're like, yeah. shit, dude. It was sad because then he like, don't become a senior citizen. He the way he did it, <laughs> yeah. Like he kept accelerating, and there yeah. was a car in front of us. So like while he was trying to make up his mind which lane, he yeah, was dude. accelerating, and then he jammed on the brakes hard <laughs> as fuck. And then I looked at him, and he was like embarrassed. Of course, yeah. But normally he's an asshole. Does he? Normally he'd does be he like, do that yeah, kind of? Sure, but he sure. don't, probably doesn't do that. He doesn't strike me as like a like a no. feckless driver. He like fucking avoids highways. We took, we, yeah, it's crazy. It takes, like, back roads. That's tight. It's kind of fucking annoying, especially now that you have Google Maps, you can see how much time he just added. <laughs> well, you just added fucking 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah. He's like, yeah, sure, Shane. That crushes old men of being like, nah, this is an old shortcut. Yeah, you know, you're looking like, nope, this is 23 minutes added to the thing. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, it's, yeah, all right, Shane. Yeah, like, like that yeah. thing. Like that like, thing knows. That thing, yeah, I'd like to. <laughs> I've been driving for 47 years. Yeah, that's my dad's favorite thing. I've been driving for 46 years. I think I like to know. And you're like, nah, this is science, dude. It definitely says that <laughs> this is long as fuck. Um, so that yeah, sucks, was, man. Seeing him get old is kind of like... he And he was like ashamed. Mm-hmm. It was like a sad that's how, moment. I mean, that's how, you're, that's how they end up fucking running like four people over in a church parking lot. <laughs> Did you ever see that happen? Yes. I came out of an evening mass one time. An old lady hit like four people, dude. I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> My grandpa pinned. We were golfing. We were golfing. And I was in eighth grade, I remember it. And he was uh, driving the golf cart. Yeah. And he just, the club pro was in front of us at the clubhouse. And he hit the fucking, he didn't put it in reverse, slammed the gas, put the pro, pinned the pro against the wall. <laughs> and was still accelerating. And the guy was like, oh, fuck, fuck. And I'll see happens once like, a stop, week. stop, stop. Dude, I mean, when you're like 60, 70 years old, you probably start daydreaming like where you'd leave reality. So he's probably. Did you ever read the Tibetan Book of the Dead? It's like a no. guide for like what happens once you die and you leave your body. There's like this very there's very specific instructions of like you're in like a hallway, you walk to like the red door, and like someone talks to you and you make a left. They're probably walking around like the Tibetan Book of the you think Dead. They're world. in the hallway. You think my they're dad in the was hall- half yeah, in the hall? Yeah, probably in the hallway, just fucking like listening. He probably saw like the scorpion lady and was just like, "Which way do I go?" And all of a sudden, like, man, like, oh, <laughs> I think the scorpion lady is talking to Phil. Like, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> It's so funny thinking of a dickhead. I've been dead for three yeah, minutes. Yeah, you yeah. think I don't know? There's a dickhead dad going to, like, having to speak to, like, an immortal being. Yeah. Why did you take that road? The GPS said it was faster. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. What is this? Scorpions? Please. I've been alive for 64 years. I'm like, I'm eternal. I'm like, all right. Okay. Yeah. We Probably like Obama. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely heaven's biggest concern. Is def- It is racism, dude. Heaven? Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Oh, I was. I thought my dad was gonna die. Really? Today? Yeah. From what? He got so fucked up last night. He's an old dog when it comes to dude, that. Though that's nothing to him. But nothing, dude. Ripping shots. Nothing, dude. They're it. used to feeling so shitty. I can't. That's my theory. Dude, dude, my dad handles hangovers like it's nothing. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. They. I don't think they probably embrace it, dude. He just is mean as fuck when he has one. Yeah, He's yeah. just, all right, let's go. Come on. <laughs> they just come down like slightly red eyes and it's kind of like... <laughs> fucking losers. <laughs> what was your problem last night? Yeah, Shane. I watched my uncles do it down the beach and it's just like, dude, they wake up the next morning and they're just like, 
Whew, went to bed early. Well, they also get hammered and go to bed at like nine o'clock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they wake yeah. up like, Whew, I need that. I need that little rest. And you're just like, dude, how the fuck are you functioning? <laughs> you drank forty beers yesterday. Yeah, he'll get my dad will get hung over and just be the biggest dickhead ever. Like my, today, we had to leave, mm-hmm. which was a big mistake. We all went to the, we drove there together. Yeah. So we all had to leave the hotel. I didn't even think about it, but we had to leave the hotel at the same time, which uh, sucks. Rainy. Dick. It was fucking it was rainy shitty. Out. Out. Come on, I'm getting text messages like, let's go. Hurry up. Oh, God. I'm like, dude, dude. I'm just, we're staying until 11. Yeah. I'm staying until I have to check out. Yeah. I'm sleeping. What time was he trying to get you out? He was ready to go at fucking 9. <laughs> He's like, let's go. So did you make him wait for you? Yeah. Oh, he must have been so mad. Fuck that. He must have been so fucking Katie mad. Katie was doing the same thing. Trying to get you to go? Yeah, they're like, let's go. I'm like, Sounds like majority chill. rules on that one. You got you held them both up? I just didn't have my phone. Oh, that's so funny. Went down and ate breakfast, didn't have my phone. It's like... You guys just have to wait. <gasps> I a saw a text that was like, we're going to leave you. I was like, do it. Call your bluff. Yeah, do it. Wild Any, stuff. Anymore with Lyft, it's like, do it. Nah, it was, that would have been a killer. If they Central left you? PA Lyft, like a 45-minute drive. Oh, yeah. You would end up in a fucking go-kart, Me and Baby dude. Girl would have just lived in your... You would have had the ghost of Bud, dude, fucking transport <laughs> you guys. <laughs> dude, For sure. You know? No, I hear what you're saying. Losing a girlfriend has got to be harder than losing a wife. Losing a wife must be like fuck yeah. Loser, everyone's kind of looking at you like motherfucker. Yeah, you you're mother- the jackpot, dude. <laughs> you motherfucker, dude. Yeah, but then again, oh, my fucking wife would die. But no, if you if you lose, no, losing, your- obviously losing anybody's. No, but losing a girlfriend hurts. Losing a girlfriend hurts more than losing a wife. I, I stand by that. I mean, lose. I don't know. It's two different lives because it's like. You lose your wife. Depends yeah. how old you are and you lose your wife. If you're 34 and you lose your wife and you got like a four year old, five year old, seven year old. It's tough. That sucks. It's tough tomatoes. Yeah. You gotta but bounce on if you're like 55 and your wife fucking clocks out early, it's time to fucking Party time, pop dude. on the Maui gyms, dude, buy a speedboat, and you're just like, take it away <laughs> again. <in> my- <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. just leaving Las Vegas, but Key West, dude. You're just like, Ugh. dude. I can't even imagine what would happen to my dad. My dad said before he he was like, I'd be dead. Yeah, my dad would die right away. My dad drinks left to his own devices. He drinks. I've worked with him before. He drinks a milkshake every day. Yeah, every it's standard diet, dude. It's like a mil- on diabetes. He sneaks a milkshake every day. Yeah, and not like born with diabetes. Like he He's diabetes, diabetes he earned. Yeah, Hell diabetes yeah. he worked towards, dude. And they're like, all right, dude. All you gotta do is not eat ice cream. And exercise, and he's just like, I'm not gonna do either. Of those. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, I can't. He's do like, that. so I can have milkshakes. I'm like, no, dude. <laughs> if if my mom dies, my dad is dead in a year. Yeah, like guaranteed. Yeah, for sure. Because he would fucking he would booze so fucking hard. I mean, the brakes are off. He, <laughs> the brakes are off, dude. He'd live at the fucking Elks. Oh yeah, but like he's already clocking in major hours at the Elks. He would just start. He'd the probably, only reason he goes home is because my mom. <laughs> he'd probably live above the Elks like Patrick Swayze, yeah. dude, in the barn, dude. <laughs> he'd be there fucking hitting the bag. <laughs> he'd clock like ten seconds on the he'd bag and like, like the bag once. <laughs> <laughs> you can lay down. <laughs> Fuck. Man. Probably start eating Percocets and shit. Just be like, uh. <laughs> dude. I worked with a guy not too long ago who his dad. This guy, his. This guy got divorced when he was like 50 something. Yeah. His wife left him and uh or they got divorced or whatever. Sick. So he yeah, I think he's, he's with his new bay now. So he's like yeah, he kids got a new and shit. fucking bay. Yeah, he's like 50 something years old. Dude, that's nothing, but he has to take care of his dad. So that like I don't even know why I said that, but he definitely got divorced or whatever. <laughs> oh, cuz his wife took a bunch of his money, but the guy's fucking loaded. But he was yeah. like his dad was the one who started the whole empire. Yeah. His dad's like 83 now. Just did a stint in rehab like two years ago for Percocets. His dad did rehab? His dad did for pain pills. The fuck are you rehabbing, dude? Just ride it out. That's the thing because he, well, he keeps getting caught. He got caught. <laughs> His dad was like, he would go to the doctor and like, how much do you drink? He's like, I drink a fifth of vodka every day. And he's like, you're going to die. He's like, I want to die. Yeah, I'm going to die. He's like, I literally want to die. He's like, all my friends are dead. He's like, I don't care if I die or not. And then he was going down and betting on ra- horses at the racetrack and he started buying Percocets down there. <laughs> So this dude's like, I had to just put my dad in fucking rehab because he got hooked on Percocets. <laughs> <laughs> and he would catch his dad at the racetrack, like, buying fucking pills. <laughs> He's like fucking 80. Holy fuck, dude. That's the equivalent of driving into the wall at William Oh, Grove. my God. These guys dude, trying to... and you're just like, dude, I'm doing perks at the horse track, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. I know. Fucking do it. But he's like, dude, I don't even want... He's like, all I want to do is get drunk and golf. He's like, I'm like retired now and I got to like chase my dad around. <laughs> 
I was like, dude, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's funny. I've noticed that with a lot of people. Like, right when you think you're going to retire, yep. somebody in your family just fucking sabotages it. Now you got to take care of that. Totally. It goes into yeah. crisis, dude. Yeah, hilarious. Oh, it's the best. It's like, finally, I put in work for 50 fucking years. I get to fucking chill now. <laughs> It's like the feel like uh, re- like I've been moving and painting a house for the last three days, and it's like that feeling of like you always have to do shit you don't feel like doing just, just doesn't go away, and then you finally the sweet release of death, dude. You're just like yes, dude. <laughs> yeah, you finally get to fucking hit the wall, dude. Yeah, dude. Finally, I bet Bud fucking took a right on <laughs> purpose, did. dude. He probably saw his time. He was like, damn, dude, I'm not going to qualify for the mud track open. It was just like, fuck you it, know dude. what? I'm taking a right. <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> Hopefully, he takes someone with me. Yeah. Yeah, that's depressing. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, mean, knowing that you're always going to have to do shit you don't want to, nonstop. Mm-hmm. And it's funny, even if you get to the level, like where I'm at right now, doing something I don't want to is like mm-hmm. going somewhere. Yeah, for sure. Like it's not, I've limited all forms yeah. of negativity, like with life, <laughs> which is a bad way to live. Yeah. Truthfully, you need to, <clears throat> now we're getting philosophical. You need to it's suffer. True. You gotta have some suffering. You do, man. I'm you telling you. You gotta put in work that you don't want to. I lived a life of O'Reilly for a couple of years when I was a younger man. And I was like, no one can tell me where to be. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> That's what I'm doing now, and it's a weird. It gets fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, once you have the money to sustain that, and you're like, I can do whatever I want. And I'm like, Craigslist, casual encounters, <laughs> hookers. I'm like, no, I gotta stop this. Black guy <laughs> that I thought was a lady. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my whole dream was like, I was like, I just never want to wake up to an alarm clock ever again. I'm like, I can't stay out of the wishy washy. I can't control myself. I need discipline. I need an alarm clock. Not waking up to an alarm clock sounds nice on paper. Yeah. Until you're doing it every day. Hey, until you literally lay in bed on your phone and play Clash of Clans till your fucking until arms freeze. Yeah. You're just like, oh, I'm a fucking loser. Yeah. Like, when it, my schedule now is like, most days, it's like you have one thing to do and it starts at 9 p.m. You try to relish it, and I dude. I just fucking chill all day. Dude, I go crazy. I can't do it's it. It's not good, yeah. I go it's not nuts. Great. And it, but it's helped that I don't have video games up there. Yeah, that's so like I'm at least doing help, shit. Dude. Although, I'll tell you what. What? Just got the Xbox back. We're back, baby. You got the dragon, dude. Yeah. You're just tying the fucking... You just tie the cord around your arm and just fucking games hit and like, the X button. You're like, oh, God. I'll go over to Soder's for it. I'll play video games with him So you're just night. You're just chipping right now. Yeah. That's what's I'm up. I'm going out of the horse track. Now I got my own set. <laughs> you just bought a rig. You just bought a spike. It's over. You're like, I'm just going to shoot between my toes, dude. I'm cool. Yeah. This could be our last podcast. That would be sick, I'm going to be gamed out. <sighs> yeah. You, was... Are you familiar with the fire movement? What's the fire movement? It's this, uh, it's this thing like young couples are doing. It's, a, it's this revolutionary approach where like, say like you and I were like a domestic partnership. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, like I was more of like a power bottom. You were more just I was a top. Just we switched a, very a little. We switched top. a little. Bit. Very docile. You better like, not be able to docile. I'll do whatever top. you want. Really? Well, you're a power bottom. That's true, dude. You'd be like, fucking get in there. Man. Yeah, you yes. wouldn't have to sit. I'd be definitely pulling you. Like, in. Yes, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you got that rump too. Yeah, you I wear mean, those tight pants. I mean, I'll dominatrix shred those, bottom, dude. dude. I'll shred those, dude. <laughs> I would probably just fucking edge you to death, dude. I would bring you to the edge constantly, dude, and make you hold it in for me. <laughs> But the, uh, there's so our Thank domestic. You hold it in for me. I'd, oh my, I'd be such a fucking edge daddy. <laughs> <laughs> but the fire movement is like these deme- like a couple. Matt, basically. do you want me to come? Tell me when to come. <laughs> not yet. Your turn's not okay, here. Okay. Uh, I'm already. Co- oh, dude. And if you fucking so help me God, if you even come, dude, against my command, I'd be so fucking mad. Just beat the shit out of me. I would fucking be fucking fight. Dude. I would do ball torture, dude. I would fucking spike your balls in my high heels, dude. <laughs> I would step on your nuts with my high heels. <laughs> I'd be wearing stripper platform dude, shoes. Dude, that's sick. If we have nothing to talk about. It's just like, what if we fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but the, yeah, the fire movement, it's, it's a financial independence, da, 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 something RA, retards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> financial independence for the retarded. It's like, so we if we're like a couple and we're like crushing it and just ma- we're each making like $100,000 yeah, a year. Yeah, pretty much like, our Patreon. Yeah, basically. Yeah. If we're making two, if we're making two hundred dollars a month, dude, like, <laughs> life's easy. But yeah, if you make, they're like, if you make a hundred to one hundred fifty a year, it's for these people who get like burnt out for like working. So they just like downsize. All it is is you don't like, you just live like in modest means. So you just like get a normal place, rent like a get like a cheap car, and like don't live like an asshole. And in ten years, you have enough money to retire. Because you're making 100 G's a year, and you're, you know, like, you're, you're ba- between the two of you, you're making $200,000 a year, and you only spend, like, 60. Yeah. You're putting away, like, 140 a year. 
after 10 years, you have a million fucking bucks and you're making 60 grand a year. So it's about these guys who like do this and retire and they're like, it's like a revolutionary movement. It's like, yeah, but you need a hundred, you need yeah. 300 G's a year to pull it off. Bro. And also now you're it's retired. Called, it's just called being rich, dude. You're just rich now, dude. Yeah. yeah. And that, that was the thing. They're like, I just like ride my bicycle and like, I'm watching all the movies. They're like some institution oh recommended God. like 150 movies. And it's like, well, you're gonna you're, you're just gonna finish. You're just rich. That's it. They're like it's this yeah. new movement. It's like no, it's just this is just what rich people. This is you being rich, dude. Yeah, you made a million dollars. You're a millionaire. I was talking to the crowd last night about being retired because a lot of them were old, mm -hmm. and I was talking about how doing stand up, I just do nothing. Mm -hmm. it sucks. It fucking blows. Being retired, and I was like, you guys understand. You guys are old as fuck. You're definitely not working. It sucks, dude. Like, you just do nothing. What do they say about it? They, they like, laughed. Yeah, yeah. It, it fucking blows, dude. Like, being that's when you die. It's yeah. so boring. You're just like, fuck it. Well, especially the guys that have like, it's a shame. Because like, say you have like a super fucking boring job and you're just like, I'm about to be retired. One day I'm about to retire. You forget. Yeah. You're like, you go home and you don't do fucking shit. And you're like, God, this fucking sucks worse than my job. And then what happens, dude? You're kicking the clothes hamper out of the way. You're like, what the fuck? Get you the hell yeah, put this here. Yeah, this <laughs> goddamn clothes are these. <laughs> it's like they're mine. I haven't been here. <laughs> like I'm doing laundry. <laughs> what fucking... Dude, go back to your apartment. Get yeah. out of here. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> like that is a that's an unfortunate thing people think. They're like, I'm I can't wait, dude. I'm gonna retire and it's like Yeah, I guess, but what the fuck are you gonna do then? It's like I'm gonna travel. It's like, All right. To where? Then you're gonna by the time by the time you're retired and it's like now it's time to travel, you're a fucking baby man. True. And you're just like, I'm not getting on a, a fucking plane. Yeah. We're staying here. Yep. This is it. Yeah, I know. Like, I'll tell my dad. I'll be like, come with me to this Notre Dame game. He's like, Shay, I'm, I don't think. I'd rather watch it here. I'd just sit right here and watch yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. I don't think my parents have ever left the country. No, they've been to Ireland. That's it. But, like, my dad, dude, you got to drag. Even to Ireland, yeah. he was like, why the fuck? You got to drag my go dad to a fucking party. Yeah, dude. That's uh, You don't want to go. My parents don't want to leave the country, dude. You can't get them out of the country. They love America. They love America too much. America's dude. the shit. Yeah, I mean, fuck, dude. It's tough to get an old man over to Europe. Yeah, I mean, what's in it for him? Nothing, dude. Yeah. What are you going to, like, your wife of 40 years is going to get stoked museum? on you, dude? <laughs> it's like, all right, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm trying to impress this lady that I don't even want to fuck. Yeah. Maybe they do. I, I've been thinking about that, too, I think geezers still want to fuck each other a lot? I've been, like, well, my thing is, like, I've been trying to, this is pretty weird, but I was trying to, like, the other day, like, get myself in the headspace, like, preparing myself to actually, like, touch, like, an, an elderly woman and get, like, hard for it. Because eventually I was like, am I going to have to do that? Like, to just, like, grab nah. to some fucking... You can just stick with crazy, BBGs dude, for the rest like, of your life, yeah. dude. Stick to the BBGs. I was trying to figure that out, dude. Yeah, I saw some fucking elders at the uh, at the wedding. That I was like... Cutting loose? Not a lot left, man, in my fucking... In my tribe. Yeah. It's not a lot the left. Tribes fizzle out tribes, quick. My, my tribe my fizzles out. My mom's got, like, one more, like, old auntie. That's, like, her aunt. And dude, it's like, I mean, it's getting to be that one, time. one fucking Muay Thai, one whip kick to the, I could literally shatter her femur, dude. And kill her. I was the other, I was literally, I was like, I could probably do the Goro fatality yeah. where I put her over my head and rip her, disembowel her in half. Dude. <laughs> 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 yeah. You can fatality some geezers. I uh, dude. Just reach down their throat and rip out their spine. Easily. It'd be fucking sick. <laughs> Easily, dude. I might do that to my I, fucking seriously, grandma. Seriously, I honestly, like, my my great aunt, I could probably pull her heart out of her chest. <laughs> I could literally probably go, uh, and pull her heart out, dude. <laughs> that would be fucking, that would be sick. What, fatality and a geezer? I mean, as fucked up as it is, just to, you ever see, like, the boardwalk thing where, like, the punch meter when you mm -hmm. see, like, 4,000 points? I mean... It would be fucked up to punch an 80-year-old lady, but, like, dude, you would totally jell her. I mean, you would, you would jelly her, her skull. Legs. Yeah, you would definitely, like, sh sh you would just, like, her head would explode. <laughs> 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 Even just, like, a fucking solid gut punch. Yeah. They're made liver, out of, like, liver paper cancer. mache. They're you made can... out of the same fabric as, like, pinatas. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you hit them, it's just where there is going everywhere, and they explode. <laughs> <laughs> and the Mexicans will come in and pick it up. Bunch of little Mexican kids. Oh, I was gonna say, I was like, the Mexicans like Werther's, dude. You no, know, Mexicans yeah. love candy out True. of pinatas. They so. like a pinatas, dude. How much do they love pinatas? Oh, they fucking love them, dude. That's a sick invention. The lads got that right. That was pinatas. a putting candy. I wonder what it used to be in the pinata. It was pr probably used to be a geezer. 
No, 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 not, not the piñata. <laughs> the itself. original piñata. Not the piñata itself. The fucking <laughs> what was inside them before candy? I don't know. Poor Mexicans. I mean, no, I probably wasn't much. It's probably, probably grass. Probably trinkets. <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably just candy corn. <laughs> the whole time he's like, none of this. It's not like this is like mean shit. It's just like yeah. women have a deeper emotionality that like that can actually physically overwhelm them more than and when guys fall into that. It's just because you know, obviously, has mother issues is over. <laughs> Over uh oh, it's mom issues. Over identifying, yeah, you know, it's just he's. I don't know. Me and my mommy, we get along. You never know, dude. No, we have we have good issues. We we're all right. No, it doesn't mean you hate your mom. Just that your mom had like a real strong anima, dude. It means your mom hmm. might have been a, a bit. And again, this is all theory. She was a nice lady. I'm not saying she was mean. What are you saying super, about my mom, dude? My mom's super nice too. I have, dude. Trust me, I. You get in moods because I'm mom? anima possessed. I have, I have very bad anima tendencies, dude. That I've been fighting against. Well, so like, if if you're in a bad mood, it's because your mommy's not happy. No, it's because your and mom. You can feel no, it? no, no. It's just no. So what a guy. This is the whole thing. It's not like your mom's fucked up or this mommy. or that. You learn your anima is shaped by your your experience, like your mother. So your mother's psychology shapes your anima. Oof. So your mom could have hit you with some like not like she's mean to you, but she could have her own moods that like as a kid you just like fully soak this stuff <laughs> oh. in. Yeah, dude. Oh. <laughs> yeah. My, yeah. When moms get old, they turn into fucking morons. Why? Geezer moms? They become so sweet. They're sweet, but they're fucking, you know, if you like swear in front of them, it's like, Ooh. Yeah, I wonder <laughs> like, why that is. Geezer moms get like. Well, it's also weird to like produce a thing that comes out and it's like, motherfucker. And they're like, whoa, well, come <laughs> you on. You produce something that's <laughs> like, on. fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Yeah, true. I mean, they definitely have big hopes, and you come out, and you're like, "Fuck you, I'm <laughs> yeah, fucking just hammered." A fat piece of shit. I only see, I only go home when I'm like super hungover. I'm always hungover as fuck, dude. I walk into my parents' house and immediately lay on the couch. Oh they're like, oh, "It's good to have you here, son." You're like, oh. I'm just like, "Oh, I got fucked up last night." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, I got deep into that. So I was reading that book. Oh, and then my mom found out I fucking on his, on somebody filmed me doing stand up. And put it on their, like, Instagram. Yeah. Put it on my Instagram. I think I might have fucking... Yeah. My Instagram story had me doing a joke about, like, doing coke. <gasps> Moms don't like Mom that. Mom did not like that. She was like, with our family's history, you can't do this. <laughs> well, dude... Like, Mom, part, it's just a joke. Just a joke. And, you know, uh, the big part, too, this, ha- this is what happens to guys sometimes who are... Not saying you are. Guys who are... Because you're definitely not. But guys who are anima possessed, they never... <laughs> <laughs> They never break away. You what? have to at one point disappoint your mother gravely. Oh, I did. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying you. We were just talking about that. In the yeah, car. dude. When I'm I s- hit her hard once. Yeah, bro. And we're good. What I'm saying, you have to like break your mother's heart with your course because they want to just kind of keep you in. You know, they yeah. love you and they want to kind of keep taking care of you. But if you your journey, if it if your journey doesn't make your mother fucking like, oh God, please, God, please don't yeah. let her. You're not on the journey. I, hate, the I journey. don't want to burst your bubble. If your mom's not scared praying for you. If your mom's not on her knees praying to Lord Jesus every night. You're not on a fucking quest for, for the her grail. baby. Exactly. You're yeah. not on a quest for If your mom thinks of you and goes like. He's on safe. the right track. You're not questing for the grail. I hate to break it to you. Yeah, sorry. I hate to break it to you. If you and your mom are still talking, you're a fucking <laughs> gay bitch. No, your, mom will, your mom will love you always. That's up to your mom. Your mom has to deal with the fact that you are going to. Your life quest is going to be so terrifying to her that it's going to break her heart. Like she's gonna have to deal with that. If you that was, tr- what broke my mom's heart was my life quest. It's yeah. so funny. <laughs> yeah, someday you guys will find out. But <laughs> yeah, dude, you got to fucking your life quest, dude, breaks your mother's heart. And just, fuck it. <laughs> hey, whatever. Hey. If you well, know somebody's deaf, punch Braille. them. Yeah, if you know a deaf person, punch them. In I'm the head. all about elder and deaf abuse. <laughs> I love elder abuse. Do you ever you know, you know people like you fucking your mom moves in with you? You fucking <laughs> shut up, shake her chair. <laughs> Just don't feed her for two days. At, like nursing homes. Oh. <laughs> He's so <laughs> sick, dude. He's like, shut up. I'd love, I'd love to work at a nursing home and bully the shit out of old people. Imagine just bullying old people till they died. Yeah, they can't. They can't rise up. With you can literally beat the shit out of every oh person in the building. Oh my god, dude. Just a quick fucking just, an just elbow a to arm. Just yeah, imagine yeah. walking past someone's grandma and just being like, move and fucking <laughs> bumping her shoulder and she spins off. <laughs> We have saints, and actually, the one God's three, but it's one. It's just, it's like a religious yeah. loophole. Pretty good idea, though. They're like, wait, it's three? Well, that's one, but yeah, there's three. People yeah. are like, I can fuck with three gods. And you guys kind of like, totally dominated my village. I can fuck with this. Yeah, it's like, I'll pray to the saints. Exactly. I'll pray to St. Anthony. I just yeah. lost my fucking virginity. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> that's what I was thinking of. I was like, damn, dude, if that shit's real and you actually see your grandparents, and they're just kind of like, hey, bud. 
what the fuck was that all about? And you're like, yeah. But yeah, I'd like to yeah, think. Yeah, but then their grandparents would have said that to them. Yeah, but you, you hopefully you'd like to think that by then they're just like little like floating beings in heaven that you're like, sorry about all the weird poor gramps. And they're just like, don't worry about it. I'm on some totally new shit now. <laughs> I don't really hate black people that much anymore. <laughs> oh, cool. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> Wait, and, a black, did, and a black orb floats it's over like, and Grandma, he's like, get that orb out of our neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> like, Grandma, did you tell me the crow didn't blow in the sparrow's nest? And she's like, yeah, that was some bullshit I was on. I'm sorry. <laughs> crow didn't blow in the sparrow's nest? She said that? That was a, yeah, that was a famous quote from one of my grandparents. I'm not going to out them, dude. <laughs> Damn, that's a People tough People were quote. racist as of fuck course, back then. I'm not fucking... But no, that's a fucking... I heard that, and I was just like... Because old McCusker is fucking... You I'm love not going to credit myself for bringing... <laughs> you love some crows. I'm not, <laughs> not going to credit myself, but I've definitely brought uh, some different hues into the family dynamic. Yeah. You know? And then now my cousin, because it's like a little Indian princess, bro. I'm not saying I fucking... I will say, though, my, my cousin's aunt definitely married a Trinidadian dude. Oh, wow. Brought him into the fold. That's but sick. I was fucking, you know, I fucking, I paved the way, dude. Anyone in my family that wants to step outside of the, the white prism of Sniz, fucking can tap me on the shoulder. It's cool now, guys. You can bring home whoever you want, dude. I fucking pioneer. I fucking pioneer that you one. You Lewis and Clark to that pussy, dude. Yeah, definitely. I definitely was a Lewis and Clark in my family to be like, <laughs> what's up? What's up, guys? It's pretty funny. Pretty funny. <laughs> Say something, dude. Me? No, I'm just saying, like, say <laughs> something. Like, all right. Uh, I started, I just, I never even thought about it, dude. Seventh grade, my girlfriend was, like, Mexican, I think. Inez. Some sort of South American shit. Brought that home. Seventh grade, I was like, yep. Check it. My, everyone was just like, all right, man. Matt's on some other shit, dude. So you think your grandparents are off their bullshit? They're now off their bullshit. They're, they're angels? They're up there like, ah. It's like, oh, don't worry. If I had the internet, I'd be overwhelmed by the temptations as well. <laughs> that was like all day yesterday. I was like, God damn, dude. Yeah, but they had like milkmen. That's worse than the internet. You Fucking like a milkman? A postman, milkman showing up while the ladies are at home. True. True that. Fucking some dude just shows up. You're horny. No one's around. Why don't you get in here? Why don't yeah. you get in here? My thing is, I wonder how many women, women, tep- women typically don't, they usually try to like fuck up and across. Like the mailman, man, eh, maybe though. If they're if they're bored enough, we'll fuck a lowly guy, a lowly yeah, milkman. Especially if you were mean to them earlier. Women are usually hyper hyperpanergamous or whatever the fuck that word. They're is. very panergamous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the word. It's like hyper or whatever. But no, you're right. If yeah, they're every time I'm mean to my girlfriend, panergamous. <laughs> Anytime I see a pog now, I scold her. <laughs> if I see a pog, I'm like, yo, fat, nice fatty. I was actually thinking about this for the cast, dude. That's why, I mean, the position I felt I was in as a black conservative, I felt like I was just getting a bunch of, like, white conservatives, angry, virulent white conservatives just fucking trying to warp and bastardize my takes. It's a classic black conservative. What, on, on what? Our cast. Oh, the cast has been adopted. I was getting pimped out like every other black yeah. conservative by the fucking white man. The I was like, you know what? Fuck this shit, dude. It is great to hear people. I'm like, like Thomas Sowell. You are. It, it's great when the honkies that listen to the cast, which, you know... 99% of our audience but uh, it's yeah. funny to hear them be like yeah hell yeah like get fired up about Dude, the my mom I listened to my mom talk about race the other day it was the funniest fucking my mom will do this every now and again and then she's re- it's, she instantly realizes she's completely out of her league so like my <laughs> so my uh, so Brittany my girlfriend was talking about our kid and she's like she's like I don't know like I just and, like, they heard my mom are talking and like I th- they, they were like we we're like sitting outside and she's like yeah I don't know it's just like I feel like she's like my my kid's gonna be like half white, half black, and I hope they don't get teased by other kids that don't look like that. Blah blah. blah. Just don't, don't bring them over to Uncle Shane's house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm teasing. <laughs> so she was like, she's talking about like at school. She's like, I don't know. Yeah. My mom was like, No, that's not gonna happen. I mean, I feel like it's you know that that stuff's getting better. Um, I mean, I, I think it is. You know, I, I think I, I I don't see a problem. I mean, with it. in the '70s, it's like black is beautiful. I mean, dude, my mom went in this rant. Oh. It was so fucking funny. She's like, that. That's what people said in the '70s, and that's that's. I don't know why we've lost that. I, I just I think it'll be fine, Brad. You'll be okay. And I'm listening <laughs> to my mom like, oh my god, oh. is it's that or she'll be like, you know, I like that Candace Owens. She's smart. That Candace Owens. It's wow. I'm telling you, she's. She's sharp. She's sharp. <laughs> that's yeah. That's such like a great. They're not trying to be racist. No, they're just it's excited. Like, but it's like if, like if a football player does a post game interview and is well spoken. Yeah, boy, 
Every fucking my dad would be like, I like that guy. <laughs> Listen to him, Shane. Come here. <laughs> Listen how well spoken he is. <laughs> Someone said that it's on just the a Reddit. black guy not using double negatives. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's crazy. I've watched that before. I've watched like women kind of compete for like the attention of a like a specific man, and I've been mm-hmm. like, this is odd. I dated a girl who did that. We were hanging out with her ex boyfriend and her the ex boyfriend's current girlfriend. Gross. Why were you doing that? It's, I was young. I didn't know. She was like, it's my, friend. it's my friend. I was like 25. Damn, that's not that young. But it was still, I've always been like, whatever, I'm cool. I can handle this. And like, and I was, I actually met yeah. the guy and we were cool. I didn't have any problem with yeah, him. Yeah, of course. But I like was watching this like interaction and it was just like, oh, you still fucking love this guy. And I had to like sit there and watch it the whole time. And then like, oh, God. Yeah, it was bizarre. And they were like literally competing for this guy's attention. I was just like chilling, just like. It's cool. I'm cool with this. I'm an open-minded guy. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. That's, that's one of the downfalls of smoking a lot of weed. What's that? You, you like, think you're open-minded? You think you're super... You're like, I can take this. It's cool. I'm chill. And then like eventually yeah. just something hits where you're just like, fuck this. Yeah. Freak out. I mean, I think the older I've gotten too, I've started to realize like things... I can feel things affect me. Like I can... Re- like, like the other day when I woke up early... And I was like, I know I'm grumpy. I know I'm just being a bitch right now. Yeah. I know I'm just angry as fuck because it's early. Yeah. And so was he. He was the same way. You guys are just grumpuses. We're just grumpuses arguing <laughs> about nothing. I get that. If I get like a heated conflict where I'm like really like, – like I've chilled out on it big time. But like when I was like arguing with strangers a lot when I was driving – I would get so mad that like my heart would skip beats, and I'd be like, <laughs> like "It's fucking fuck you, dude." <laughs> also, I can tell, I can feel uh, substances. Yeah, like, definitely. Like if I drink coffee, yeah. I feel like when I was young, I never felt anything. Wow. Like when I was young, if I had sugar or something, I would never be like, "Oh my god, I'm jittery." Well, that's because you're slowly dying. Now, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah of course. But I, I'm saying I feel everything now. I used to never. I used I to be able to I'm chug very everything. Aware. I feel like when I when I start to feel sick, I can tell like everything. Yeah, that's dude. So I I had an Apple Watch. I don't use it anymore. I, I go back and forth, but uh, I got to the point where I could be working out and be like, I'm at 97 beats per minute with my heart rate. Check it, and I was usually within like one or two wow. beats per minute. Yeah, that's how I'm like. That's how in tune you are. Well, you are obsessed with your heart. Yeah, to like a really unhealthy amount. I'm convinced I'm going to have the big one. Yeah, so, you probably will. I know I will. I mean, chances are you will. Well, the ultrasound in my heart said it was like awesome. They're like, your heart looks great, but I know my heart, dude. I'm sure it looks fine. It's set to fucking burst. It's going to explode. It's set to burst. I'm gonna. I'm definitely on a highway to hell, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, fucking, I'm out here doing yoga, trying to fucking escape this hell. <laughs>